hi guys and welcome back to my channel thank you for the support over the last two videos um, it does not go on unnoticed uh, if you're watching this and you have not subscribed I don't know what you're doing with your life so please just do the right thing and click the subscribe button and also the notification button so you don't miss a thing to my old faithfuls please comment like and share this video across all your social media um, it would really mean the world to me um, moving on to today's video today's video will basically be me showing you guys my winter essentials and this is a mixture of stuff I was able to source and cop over the last um, two months or so and some of it might be available in store but I'm not um, promising anything but majority of the stuff is stuff that I was able to salvage from my purge so if you're interested in that please continue watching I'm thinking while I'm still think sitting down, let me just start off by showing you my accessories and shoes and then I'll go on to um, show you the clothing on the rail. So basically, let me just start quickly. For accessories, I mentioned a nude and black bag in the, in the closet audit video. So here is my black bag. It's an everyday bag. It's from, I don't know if you can see that. It's from Nine West. I've had it for years. But I didn't buy it at Nine West. I bought it at another retailer. Um, I've had it for years. It's an everyday bag to carry around. It's a, you can also carry it crossbody. Very, very cool and very versatile. Um, and then I also, for my nude interpretation, I have this um, crossbody or sling bag whatever you want to call it it's ostrich finish this was my mom's my favorite thing just uh or, it just goes with everything it's also just so versatile um and then i gave into trends guys judge me all you want but it's just such a fun trend and it's so inexpensive you know so I, this is me having fun with my clothes and it's not something i'll regret in the near future of, oh my gosh I spent 20,000 Rand on something that I won't be able to wear five years from now, whatever the case is. But I got fanny packs. Um, I got a black fanny pack with a quilt finish, and then it's got just got gold hardware. And it's 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 for everyone basically because it's adjustable. So for plus size as well, you can get this. Um, I got this about two months ago. Where did I get it, man? I think it missed the price i think i think but they have a lot of this everywhere basically guys like this could be mr price not too sure but yeah um there's this one and then this one because i have a dress it's also got gold hardware i have a dress that's this um it's called cognac the color cognac it's got this color so it just blends perfectly with it and then I was also mentioned silk scarves, so I have like three of them. Here they are. This one I got off Superbalist, and then this one I got. These two I got at China. It's called the Five Rand Store, okay? but it's like China City in Queenstown, back home. And then I have my beanies. Um, there they are. I got three colors. Um, this will basically give an idea of of the kind of colors I want to go to lean towards this winter and then I have my shades I mentioned also an oversized black pair this is the Celine dupe um, so it doesn't have Celine written anywhere so it's not a fake or a bootleg of the Celine shades but um, yeah this is it and I got a downtown Joburg like towards the end of last year not to show when let me just grab my shades um then i have your classic aviator shape this is also a dupe of the rain band but they have a lot of finishings for um aviator styles but i just like this navy-esque and gold hardware um finish so that is it and then obviously my watch which i wear almost every single day i'm in the mood and yeah that's it for my accessories so we're gonna okay. wash now on to our shoes 
Um, I mentioned white sneakers, so I have a pair of platform sneakers um, that I got from. I don't know if you guys can see. I got them from Jet um, beginning of the year as well from the kitty section. They're a nice creamy off white color, perfect because um, they won't get dirty. And I can just wipe them off with um, a wet cloth to keep them clean. And then we have our. How, how does this go? Our everyday, our everyday slip on meals. Let me just put them like that. Okay. Our everyday slip on meals. As as you can see, there are a dupe of the Gucci Princeton's. Um, obviously they're not real. I got them at a shop in the at the mall in in East London town. They weren't even expensive. They were like three hundred rand. I've worn them to death because I wear them literally every day, everywhere. They just add that I know my business kind of element to every outfit. Um, I really want um, a new pair of these. I got a white pair from Mr. Price, but they're not doing the things. Obviously, it's not genuine leather, but they've lasted very long because I've been wearing them every single day. Everyone knows me knows these shoes. So yeah, I've gotten my money's worth of that. Then let me just quickly show you the lace up Oxford that I have. I got these which literally look like school shoes, but they are the bomb.com. My face is itchy guys. Um these I got from Cotton On. I haven't even worn them because I'm just waiting for a special event. Yeah. Well, because I really like them. I had a pair like this, but they were much softer and it was like a patent finish versus leather from Rage, but those are finished now. They have no underneath. So yeah, I had to get a replacement. Um, and then going on to the boots. These are a pair of sock boots that are really, really high that I cannot walk in, but I got them as a gift from a friend. Shout out Zona. Uh, but I'm gonna practice. These are essential for winter because they're stylish and they're warm and they'll fit any size of a calf because they're very, 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 very stretchy. So don't even, if you can walk in these, yeah, I'm gonna practice because these are absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, well. Then I have a pair of these ankle boots. Um, I got them at Mr. Price about a month ago or two months ago, I'm not too sure. I got these and I'm surprised they're patent. I love them so much. They've got silver hardware. As much as I'm a gold girl, gold hardware girl, these are just going to work um, great in my closet because I like wearing all black so this will work or with just jeans and a jumper. So here we are. And also dresses and skirts. These are, yeah, they go to every day to school, everywhere. I'm going out to the mall when I look fly. Yeah, here we are. Yeah. Then lastly for shoes, um, I have these over the knee boots that I actually got like um, last week. I had a pair of these that I had gotten in Joburg. They were exactly like this. They were flat and all. And then I gave them to my mother because they just were too tight on my foot. Um, but now I can't find them in the house pertaining to everything. And then I also had another um, velvety blue one, but the heel was just far too high for me. So um, I sold them to a friend and that's why I was able to buy these. So that's basically it for shoes. So we're going to move on to the rail of clothing. I have on my rail are basically my actual clothing winter essential for autumn winter 2019. These are just some of the pieces that I have to show you guys. Um, that I managed to cop obviously and I've had so um, basically I have my jackets I have my shirts, I have my dresses, I have my tops and I have some pants you know um, so basically I'll just quickly run through them and then maybe you can get some ideas of how to translate the certain um, items that I had mentioned in my clothing um, closet order drama so basically here we have a camel coat, it's a belted one, so it's like a cocoon coat, 
her all warm and fuzzy it's long lined long sleeve but i just roll up all my sleeves because i hate feeling hot i like feeling warm just not hot then um i have my leather jacket which i thrifted about six years ago and um i haven't parted with it ever since then um it's got silver hardware it's not that heavy and it's obviously faux leather this in the clothing audit i spoke about blazers i have discovered that blazers do not suit me or i don't like blazers having been to girls high we were forced to wear blazers so i think I'm traumatized since then so some people can use blazers to add a pop of color especially during winter and blazers are, are, are very versatile so you can wear them casually or formally so in my case um for my pop of color I got myself this full suede uh, moto jacket it's very stretchy so it, it cinches everything in and I'm, I really enjoy it but I, I can't get it out of way out of this. It's just something that I bought because I liked it. Primarily because how many times can I wear a yellow jacket? Besides it being stained and dirty, every day I'm in a yellow jacket, every day I'm in a yellow jacket, it's not going to make any sense. Then I got myself a pea coat in baby blue. This is like, um, it looks like a sheep. I'll call it ikush. It's like a sheep um it looks very huge here because it's mine but it's very cute on um i actually thrifted this about two weeks ago um and yeah i love it it's it's got a very blazery structure but it's colorless and it comes up to i think just by my knees but yeah it's also awesome with jeans also awesome with just a dress and yeah then further my interpretation of blazers is this um cropped colorless um blazer that is part of a two-piece so this i actually wear with its skirt or i can wear it with white leg pants that i have here and all that then simply moving along this is the black skirt that i said everyone should have a black pencil skirt mine is in leather which goes with the um with the colorless blazer so it makes for a good good look for me then swiftly moving along i have a white shirt and a blue shirt as well so these i can tuck into formal pants or a pair of jeans and this as well um and that's what i like to do roll the sleeves up give it a very cash feel i really do enjoy these white shirts um even when i'm going to campus even on the weekend sometimes in summer I just tuck them into a pair of shorts or just wear some shorts and run it over then this is a um, my version of a pleated skirt it's geometric print I like the color the colorway um, I like the colorway because it's nude and black so as you can tell I'm very muted this winter I was quite enjoying it because I'm I've learned to do bold eyes so my makeup just speaks for me so i'd rather keep my clothing palette very simple now then i have two dresses on here so these are my florals basically this is a like a peasant dress it comes up just to above my knees so i can always pair this with um can i just put this down quickly i can always just pair it's long sleeved the sleeves are gathered so it gives a nice balloon sleeve um, I can always just pair this with my um my my over the knee boots and just put my leather jacket over on my shoulders or just wear it and I can even wear it with this on top because there's um some mustard on the dress but I don't want to be very drab and wear black a lot so yeah there's that just fix this quickly and yeah I like the color I mean it's got a a Chinese color then it's got a tie so it's very bohemian vibe then I've got a it's a mesh dress with a slip underneath that I had I've had this for the longest time I got from a surprise it's in better days but I really do like it especially if I wear this put my leather jacket over my shoulders and then wear it with the ankle boots the sock boots rather it's gonna look very awesome just 
um it's a medaxi because it's not maxi it's not maxi and it's not midi so it's a medaxi it's a married it's a it's the offspring of a midi and a maxi dress so we have that then on to my favorite thing this um this winter is this two piece this two piece is a nude and it's cable knit it's wool it's very warm and it's so stylish so when i do wear it i haven't worn it out yet when i do wear it i'm hoping to wear it with my platform um creamish leatherish um platforms and yeah i'll just tuck this in here and this is basically my interpretation of a knitwear dress it's a two-piece i could wear this with another top i can wear this with jeans or another bottom depending on how i feel so i'm getting really my money's worth for this and then we have i have another leather skirt that i really like the color of it's a camel leather skirt it's also it's not midi but it's not mini it's just above my knees it's just like the black one but it's tan so yeah there's that and i'll basically pair this up with um i'll show you now i could even wear it with this on top depending on on where i'm going or how i'm feeling that particular day then quickly moving on to my pants i have a pair of joggers now these joggers were very inexpensive i don't know i think i got them at this price as well and basically what i'm thinking of wearing them with are the black turtleneck which you'll see and tucking it in and then wearing it with the sock boot that's a look and i also have a black hoodie ish no it's a sweater it's a jumper that's what they call it it's not a hoodie but it's a jumper that um, I can wear it, I can wear with this and yeah just a full-on tracksuit with ankle boots and probably a fanny bag you know we're good to go then I have a pair of black jeans and a pair of blue jeans I have black jeans because um I have to have a pair of black jeans I suppose but I am a blue jeans girl blue jeans are who i am i love blue jeans in the winter in the summer every day to church to school to work when i used to work i love blue jeans because you can dress them up you can dress them down like i could be the face of blue jeans that's how much i love them then moving along i also have a pair of a pair of black wide leg pants let me just show you they are elasticated and they are very very long which is nice especially when i'm wearing heels so here we are they're very elasticated and they've got like a paper bag waist so that's also flattering so i can cinch in my non-existent waist so there's that then so we can go along to the top which I'm gonna move to this side because now we finished this real can't take some closer. Yeah. There we go. <coughs> Is this black um jumper that I literally can even pair up with the skirt. Just tuck it in to the skirt and you're out the door. I was not a polo neck girl because polo necks are very polo necks are very fatherly. So I'm like, hi, boy, guys, and I don't know my neck and all that stuff. Then I saw all these European English babes on Instagram, and they rock it because it's always that it's always called that side of the world, you know. So they know how to to finesse it, and they actually literally rock it. So I'm like, I need to get one, and I got one. So there was that then my other trendy piece is i think everyone has this thing for mr price i really liked it because i was seeking for snake print um because i know it's a trend but i mean this was less than 100 rand i think it was 80 rand or 90 rand something and if i'll get my i'll get my money's worth out of this at the end of the day everyone literally has it there's no thought to it it's just a mesh 
it's very see-through but i always wear a black bra i've only worn it once anyway um i wear a black bra i mean i'll probably just pair it up in my lookbook with the pleated um wide leg pants then on to my favorite things in the whole wide world i have these as my interpretation for the t-shirts i have a nude polo neck and i have a white one hope you can see that and then i also have a black one um these are fairly fairly inexpensive i got mine at mr price and yeah i'll get my like i literally can pay this with my jeans with literally everything here even with the skirts it literally everything then if i don't want to wear a turtleneck um in terms of that um i will literally be wearing these long sleeved um t shirts um you can literally get these everywhere i think i got these at mr not mr price at pick and pay clothing which is a plug basically for your basic clothing so yeah guys that's it um if you're seeing this gorgeous face that means you've watched till the end so thank you very much for that i really do appreciate it um please can you comment and like and share the video across all your social media i really hope i was able to help you and give you an idea um as to what you'll need for winter 2019 and hopefully beyond uh, see you on the next one which will be my winter lookbook for autumn winter 2019 Mwah.